This is the survival analysis video on analysis strategy in the Cox model. Before proceeding to discussion modeling strategy, I'll clean up a couple of loose ends. Confidence interval for model, model parameters are derived in direct analogy with logistic regression. They're normal in a log hazard scale and then exponentiated. This slide provides the algorithm. And this slide plugs some numbers into the algorithm. Extracting a confidence interval from your statistical software should be straightforward. In a modeling application, you usually make figure one the Kaplan-Meier plot, either of overall survival or of survival by group. Then you proceed to focus on the impact of the parameters. To provide it, it, an example of where you might want to also include a fitted survival curve, consider a registry that compares the survival experience of patients receiving two types of drug. The Kaplan-Meier plots won't take into account any imbalance between the groups. For example, patients receiving one drug tended to have poorer functional status at baseline than others. A fitted survival curve that compares the groups while controlling for baseline and functional status would be less biased and more informative. To create such a plot, use the S of T version of the Cox model from another video. Start with an estimate of baseline survival that you can generate from your computer output and then add in the impact of baseline functional status through the parameter estimates. Comparing models is in direct analogy with logistic regression. The difference between the minus 2 log L statistics of the nested pair of models will continue to have a chi-square distribution. Analysis strategy is as before. For example, depending on whether the application involves vari variable selection or covariate adjustment. The strategy is implemented using nested sets of models. The primary visualization exercises uses the old exercise uses the overall Kaplan-Meier curve to describe the survival of the overall population followed by a graphical examination of the assumption of proportional hazards. This slide presents a minimum program for an analysis plan. This slide pre presents a minimum program of what you might wish to report. Sample size calculations proceed in analogy with logistic regression. For variable selection, you usually use a rule of thumb based on the number of predictors in the smallest outcome category. For covariate adjustment, the sample size calculations are based on the estimated hazard ratio. We'll have a class exercise that illustrates how to generate hazard ratio estimates and also how to perform the power calculations.